Hi everyone, uh, this is Andrew. Today I received the Chewy Hi9 Air from Banggood. And uh, let's have an unboxing and a little bit of a review. And we can see how good this tablet is. It's actually a phablet. Okay. Good packaging as usual. It's a chewy box. Um, Hi9 Air, MediaTek, Android. Just put the tablet to one side for a second. Um, Okay, um, power adapter is European and output 5 volt, 2 amps, and um, power cable. Uh, we also got this in the box, little um, adapter for the UK. So I have already um, had a go with the tablet and I can tell you that uh, it comes with a screen protector which is awful, really terrible, ruins the screen. It's this stupid thing so please just throw that away. Um, and as you can see it's a sort of iPad sized tablet it's got the camera and flash on the rear Chewy Hi9 Air designed by Chewy made in China copying Apple with that little phrase quality sticker there um, this is where you take off the the back so you can put in a micro SD and your sim cards I've already got two sim cards in there and a micro SD so this inter it's interesting what bands this uh, device supports because it's more than we were promised So you've got two speakers, uh, one on either corner there. You've got a headphone jack, 3.5mm, and a micro USB. On the left side there's nothing. On the right side you've got power on and volume up and down. On the rear, on the, on the, uh, the, the bottom of the uh, tablet there's nothing at all. So let's power on, see how long the power up takes. So this has got a 2560 times 1600 screen, fully laminated, and uh, it's therefore a 16 by 10, which I think is great. Um, I 
keeps telling me my SanDisk card is corrupt. As you can see, I've got both SIM cards there on 3G. One of them is on free in the UK and the other one is on EE in the UK. So I'm just going to plug it in because I need to charge. Sorry about the uh, airplane noise. I live near Heathrow Airport. Okay. So let's have a look at the uh, operating system. i9 Air, Android 8.0.0, security patch, 5th of February 2018. System update. Um, you can check for updates. And uh, there's no update available at the moment. So when I got the, um, when I received the tablet, it came with a user already on it, so I did a uh, factory reset. So uh, if you want to do a factory reset, go in there, reset, factory data reset, and uh, that will get rid of anything that you're suspicious of. Um, and you'll have a fresh install as it were. So it's nice and fast, the UI. Um, it seems to be, I've got a lot, got all my apps on there as you can see. Um, I put them on there from a backup or rather from the phone, copied them across, um, through, um, Google from the phone. Just going to add WhatsApp. So yeah, the, the UI is, uh, pretty pretty good it's a stock Android um, I will show you what the original apps were when you receive when you receive the device um, the original apps are as follows those are your original apps it's got FM radio standard Google Apps gaps so that's great, supporting obviously Play Store. So in the Play Store, um, I'm trying. I'm trying to tap a photo as if it's the actual tablet. Easily oh, done. Play I'm sure store. everyone's done that once in a while. Um, um, <laughs> anyway, if you so go to settings. You will then see down the bottom device certification uncertified. So what does that mean? It's uh, not certified by Google. So as I've already mentioned, the screen is very, very nice. However, there is one very strange thing that I have found, which is if you go to change the brightness, absolutely nothing happens so I don't know if that's a software problem what it is um, I've tried testing it under safe mode as well it makes no difference and I've tried um, going into settings and uh, looking under the uh, settings in mirror vision because you've got uh, various settings in here which you can change if you change this to user, you can then um, go back, picture brightness. And again, if you change this, absolutely nothing happens. So I think that must be a software problem. It's gonna need an update from Chewy. So uh, that's one thing. However, I was outside just now 
and the screen is pretty good in the outdoors. Although you can't turn it down, it's annoying at night time. Uh, I've so far received probably about seven or eight hours um, screen usage since full charge. It says three hours, 37 minutes there. So that's presumably screen on time, isn't it? So last full charge, eight hours ago. Um, those numbers are not very helpful. There is a uh, Geekbench battery benchmark that I'll show you a bit later. The build quality, just before we move on. I will say there's no, no creaks. It's, it's got a quite a good build quality, you know, it just feels good. Um, we'll just see how, what the thickness is as well. Um, so on the, the normal part of the body, 8.4 millimeters. And on the camera bump, Eight point eight, um, and obviously this is a, a ten point one diagonal on the screen in inches, ten point one inches, um, and then the bezels. So the bezels. Eleven point eight side bezels, eighteen roughly top one and bottom one because they're the same. King as a phone. Just want to show you the bands because it is advertised as only having a few bands, um, and according to this app. MTK engineering mode, start MTK settings, MTK engineering, under bands, under LTE, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 12, 17, 20, 28, 38, 39, 40, and 41. So that means it really is a global um, tablet and uh, I believe you can use that in the US on uh, bands 2, 4, 5, possibly 7 and obviously 20 is also used quite a lot in Europe and those top ones 38, 39, 40 and 41 are uh, in Asia So that's good to know. So right, if I wanna call myself, There we go, there's a phone call. That's on the regular phone. And then, um, so the, head, the, the speakers are not very good. You'd probably wanna be wearing some sort of uh, headphones if you're gonna be on a call. And um, on the WhatsApp, <laughs> so 
So WhatsApp is working as well. WhatsApp is working, which is good. So I was having some problems with the camera. Um, seems to be okay now. But to get the camera to work, I had to um, boot into safe mode. So I'll just show you how you do that. So you hold power off and then the next time you boot it, it will go into safe mode. The it was the um, it was the front camera, the one that obviously looks at you that um, I couldn't get to work. It kept coming up with a weird message saying that it was in use by another app. Um, and I also had, originally I had a problem where I couldn't get the cameras to work at all. So I went into safe mode and uh, used the cameras and that seemed to cure the problem. So if you have that problem with the cameras not working at all, um, persevere with it because it seems to clear itself up. It does have a haptic, so you can have... Um, vibrations just vibrated at me just then so um, yeah with the camera it seems pretty decent uh, it's a 13 megapixel um, as you can see that it's pretty good detail there on the leaves That was on um, that was on maximum zoom. Here's a bit of video. So that's allegedly 4K video. So that's the camera looking at myself, obviously. The back camera. And then the front camera, as we've already seen. It's pretty good. So the GPS, um, pretty accurate, quick to connect. So how many uh, satellites is that? 26 in view and 18 in use. So it's pretty impressive. The GPS. Uh, this is the uh, Wi Fi 130 megabits, 1920 upload, 130 download. Um, and uh, that one was further away. So if you're going to use this. Um, if you're going to use this tablet for work, uh, it can be used with Team Viewer, so you can have remote re remote control, remote support. People can support this tablet. Uh, however, there is a bug at the moment where the screen was coming up sideways, so that needs to be fixed. Benchmarks: Slingshot Extreme 456, Ice Storm Extreme. 10,438 this is a battery benchmark I'm going to post all of these on the link in the video so benchmark results um, gear um, Geekbench battery comparison with the Galaxy Note 3 and Nexus 5 etc 1110 Benchmarks, battery score, compute benchmark, 
Geekbench 3523 on the compute, and then the multi core 4710, single core 1608. So Antutu 99,710. <clears throat> I'll be posting those, I'll put all of these photos on the link in the video. Uh, benchmarks for the um, EMMC, for the storage, sequential read 144 megabit, megabytes a second, read 112 megabytes a second write. So that's pretty good. So treble, this is Android 8. Anyone wanting to know about treble? Treble check, it's got an A only system partition. So that's gonna be a disappointment for anybody looking to do ROMs, I'm afraid. You get upgrades and uh, updates from Chewy. It supports the project treble, so you should get more updates for security fixes. However, A only partition, so no A and B. Um, yeah, and the standard apps.